A challenger has emerged for an experienced Beltrami County Commissioner's seat. Joe Venny has held the spot on the board for four terms now. But in the next election cycle, he'll go up against Ward 4 City Councilor Reed Olson. Olson has been involved in the council since 2013. He says he's most concerned with health and human service issues, especially homelessness, which he's worked on with Bemidji's Nameless Coalition for years. It's an issue that's near and dear to both candidates in this election. We also in the area have a very low rental vacancy. I believe it's around 1%, which is a, a, an unhealthy market. You know, it means that there's a lot of people that aren't able to get into housing. So I really want to do a, the best that I can, do what I can to help promote um, more, more multifamily homes, single family homes being built. Some of our homeless pro uh, population happen to be none other than uh, armed forces veterans. They don't have a place to live, whose needs are not being met. Ergo then, our uh, Veterans Home Initiative, it is a continu continuum of services uh, that would meet the needs of housing, would ne meet the uh, uh, mental health needs, uh, addiction needs. Olson and Venny have specific community concerns they're focusing on, from law local law enforcement's program for building a mental health treatment facility to addressing drug and alcohol abuse issues so in the It leads county. to uh, dysfunctions in families. It leads to uh, children left destitute. It, it leads to problems that, that people facing challenges cannot overcome alone. As a state and even as a nation, we all too often have our, our jails, our libraries become the de facto homeless shelters or, or mental treatment facilities. Um, and so I'm really excited with what, what um, Sheriff Hodap is doing there and that's something that I definitely want to work, work towards. Olson says he wants to see more local councillors and commissioners facing competition for office because the exposure of elections helps the community stay informed of what is happening in local government. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.